Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, before we begin, um, I'm just going to let you know that we still have this giveaway going on. Um, this is the 20th anniversary expansion Charizard Hollow, uh, the CB6 PSA 10. Now all you have to do to win this lovely card is to pop a like on any of the videos that we have on the channel. Um, of course, be a wonderful subscriber. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much. And be sure to pop a comment um, in the comment section just to say what your favorite card of the video was. Um, this giveaway will be going until the end of June. Let's say the end of June. Um, where I will announce a winner on Twitter, so be sure to check it out, and I'll hunt you down on YouTube if you're not on Twitter. Um, so good luck everyone, and be sure to pop a like, uh, leave a comment on the video, and be sure to subscribe. Hello guys, and welcome back to part 2 of this PSA submission. Um, in this part, I'm hoping to show you what cards I had in the submission, but... As you can see by the cards in front of us, we had quite a few that were uh, in the last video. So of course we had the Gemint 10 EV uh, from the Premium File. Um, quite a few Alolan Pikachu Hollows. And I think we had a couple of other Poncho Pikachus. Uh, Team Rocket uh, Handiwork and the Full Art Pikachu. So hopefully all of these cards I show you will be uh, from my collection uh, as opposed to from the collection that um, other people submitted which was in last week's video. Um, so we have four boxes coming up. Uh, we have the three cards that I didn't look at from the first video. Um, we have Nimint 8 on the left hand side, Mint 9 on the right, Gemint 10 in the middle and off camera we got this stupid little freaking EX5 anything below 7 can just sit in the corner and be quiet so starting us off with these three anyway I believe these were the Team Rockets uh, handiwork or the special case kind of Team Rocket cards um, oh we have the Gemmit 10 Giovanni scheme so that's a very nice start to that one uh, I'll move Eevee back and put Giovanni there just to give us a bit of luck. So this will either be the Team Rocket or the Giovanni Scheme version. Uh, we've got a 9. I was hoping for Gem Mint on these two for the Full Art Collection. Oh, why did this get a 9? Oh, it's a bit off centre. Which could have been the reason. Here we go, 10 on this one. We have a 9 on that one as well, so there are the special case cards, we've got Mint 9 on both of these, which sucks, but oh well. I'll have to open up the sealed case we have and probably submit some of those in. So, starting us off, oh Giovanni and Nude, full. We have box number 4, so we'll go 4, 3, 2, 1, and hopefully we'll have some very nice grades to show you. Uh, I know I sent in quite a few random cards, so here's hoping we get quite a selection to come up. It's the other side. So, let's do box number one. I want to turn them sideways, just for a bit of space. That'll do. There we go. So we have an English card. And uh, it's not even mine, it's one of Matt's, uh, the EX Holland Phantoms Mew. Um, I believe this is the secret rare, if I just zoom in there, it is. So, great start, not even my card. Okay, next up, we have an alone Pikachu, so it's another one of the Gemmit 10s. Um, it's will probably be another four of those, because we sent in four total, maybe another two. And it's not coming up next. So we have the Illusion Zora. Um, I did pick this card up off of eBay quite cheap. And I'll just show you. These are the ones we have so far. So we have the second grade winner, the Puchigimi winner, uh, the first grade winner, and now we have the fan winner, or the Pokemon fan winner. So two nines, two tens. 
that's pretty awesome having another gem at 10 in the collection. And we're going back to English now. Looking very nice. We've got a bit of a corner mark there. And we have a Mint 9 Espeon Gold Star. So that's pretty good. Um, I remember picking this up thinking it wouldn't get past I don't know, 7 or 8. But Mint 9 is pretty epic, so loving that one. Um, I want to stand you up. You can go there. Awesome start. So another English card. This could be another gold star. Or not. It's a full art Misty's Determination. I'm just going to give up guessing on which one's which because I have no idea what the PSA have ordered these at. So another nine there. I'll put you up there before you start cracking. So moving us on, we have Brock's Grit. Uh, another mint nine there. So this will probably go up for sale on my eBay sometime soon. Um, I've switched to collecting Japanese full art trainer cards, so hence why they'll be going. We have a near mint mint Charizard reverse hollow from Evolutions. So we did in our last submission get a PSA 10 version. Uh, this one is off center, so you can see the left is thicker than the right. And you can probably see it more clearly there. So near mint 8 can go over here. And we have a Mint 9 version. So that's pretty good. Um, again, it's off centered. Um, edge wears minimal, of anything. So it's just the, the card is not centered correctly. It's got the grade Mint 9. We have another Japanese card. We have a Charizard Hollow Expansion 20th Anniversary. Um, as you may be able to tell from the uh, intro to the video, this one will be one that we're giving away. So we have another Gem at 10 uh, 20th Anniversary Charizard. And if I'm not mistaken, this will be the next. It is. So we sent in three. All three got Gem at 10. Um, I know, I think Mark got a Gem at 10 on his as well, so it's pretty good for him. We are back to English again. And we have this awesome bad boy. So this is a card that myself and Crystal pulled back in 2014, I believe, uh, back when Flash Fire was around. We bought two boxes, and this dude got a Gem Mint 10, which I'm very surprised about. I wouldn't have thought he would have got that much, so pretty awesome with that one. I want to stick you like that, so that'd be cool. And moving us on, we have another gold star. We have a Nimint Mint 8 in it, the Mew gold star. Uh, I'm not too sure what have we got here. We've got a little bit of edgeware at the top. Um, yeah, did a little bit of specs on the top there, so that's probably why it got the 8. And we do have that print line through the middle, but that's quite common on these Mews. So you can go over there. So what have we got here? We've got an English card. A little bit of edgeware in the top, and it's the Pikachu Gold Star. So we have a Nimint 7, which is pretty crap. Um, I wouldn't go below 9 on my graded Gold Star, so this dude will probably be sold or... Well, I'll see what happens to him. I may crack him open and just keep him ungraded. We have a Japanese card now, and we have the Groudon Gold Star. So this is the unlimited version, and it's a Mint 9. Very nice grade there. So you get on top. Right. Another Japanese card. We have a little bit of corner damage at the top. And it's... Right, this is a Gem Mint 10. There's a mark right there. Okay. Well, that makes sense. So we have a Celebi Hollow. Oh, hang on. Let's get that crowd on, actually. That makes no sense. The crowd on should be a 10 then. Oh. So, PSA 10 uh, first edition Celebi Gold Star with a corner mark on it. Which makes no sense, but hey ho. Gem meant 10 right there. 
I would like to see what my other one came up as. Is this the other one? Oh, it's, it's a bit worse, actually. Oh, it's got a mint, okay. I have no idea how PSA grade their cards. If that is mint. I mean, you can probably, if I can shine the light properly on that, you can see there's edgeware, but oh well. So, there's a mint uh, Celebi Gold Star to go behind the gem mint version, which had a little mark on the corner. Very surprising. Uh, back to English. Oh wow, we have a gem mint 10 um, in the Alakazam Gold Star. That's awesome. Um, looking very clean on the back there. Yeah, there's nothing really, it's probably like a little white speck there. But I'm sorry Lysander, you've already been replaced. Because you can get up there. Um, moving still on to English. We have a Near Mint 7 Hitmonchan EX. Um, I think this one did come damaged in the post. I think this is the one that came damaged in the post. And we thought we'd send it in anyway just to see what happened to it. I know there's some sort of, there's a little mark just along the top. I don't know if you can see that in the light. Um, but oh well, I thought, why not give it a go? Um, we have another English card. And we have another 7. So this is the Agron EX. Um, not sure why this one got a 7. Just having a little check. Any kind of damage at all. I have no idea why this got a 7. Oh well. You don't make the front page, so... Moving on to box number 3. We're on box number 3. Here we get the knife back open. Right. What are the one... Oh Christ. What are the wonders do we have in store? Which way are they coming out? They're coming out that way. Oh, we have one of Matt's cards. Nice one for PSA packing them in order. So, just get his Mew out again. And this is the uh, Pikachu Cardass, or Bandai Cardass. You can see it's got the kind of the foil on the back of this one, as opposed to the standard um, trading cards. Doesn't have this kind of film on the back, kind of keeps it in its place. Um, what do we get? What do we get? Matt got a mint nine on this one, so that's pretty cool. Very nice on that card. And we have coming up another English card. Oh wow, we have a gem mint ten in Aerodactyl EX. So that's the EX Sandstorm uh, Hollow Aerodactyl. Very nice. And that will go with a couple of Gem Mint 10 we have on the older EX series cards. Stay up, Alakazam. Alright. We have a Mint 9 Macargo EX. So this is the EX Dragon set, and he didn't meet the criteria we wanted. Very nice card, though. I'm not sure why it got Mint 9. There's no real damage to the back. I mean, Celebi got a 10. Why did this not get a 10? How baffling. Oh well. Right, over there. We have a Latias EX in Gem Mint 10. Pretty awesome. Um, again, that one's looking very nice. Probably just looking exactly the same as the Macargo was. But oh well, we've got another 10. I knew you'd fall. Got to get you a stand. We have a. Uh, Mint 9 Ampharos EX. So it's probably be the same as the Macargo. Still a very nice card. Um, I'm taking 9 and 10s for the EX series collection. Uh, ooh, we have the Skyridge Umbreon. So this is a near mint mint 8. Um, I probably I, I expected this not to get too high. But, you know, 8's not bad at all. Um, why is Pikachu over there? You're a 7, mate. You get over there. 
Next up we have a Taranata Hollow from Expedition and he got a Mint 9 so very nice card and coming up next we have an EX Mint 6 which is shocking so that's almost as bad as that stupid slow king we had what did you get at 6? is there any corner damage to you? Uh, you probably got some sort of hollow scratching or something like that. Well, that sucks. Uh, moving us on, we have the Acropolis Lugia Hollow. And this got a near mint 7. And this is just kind of a, a, uh, an impulsive buy off of eBay. Um, it wasn't too expensive, so not too bad on that one. Looking very nice. Doesn't make the stacks though. Um, going back to Japanese, we got a bit of. Is that on the. What's on that? Uh, we have a Nido King Hollow. So this is a Japanese Mint 9. So not a bad grade. We've got a first edition. Um, well, it's Wind from the Sea. Nido King. So pretty nice. Um, back to English again. And we have the Legendary Collection Machamp. Um, Nimit Mint 8. So not going to be one for keeping because it doesn't meet our criteria. Uh, we have an 8 section over there. And these may be our premium file um, cards that we sent in. Or maybe they're not. So we have the Nivy City Gym deck, uh, the Brock Hollow. So very nice there. Uh, Nimit Mint, Mint 8. Very clicky these cards. I'm not sure why. You have to find that out. Uh, we have the Gem Mint 10 Umbreon, so this matches our EV we had in the, the last video. And I'll pop you in the stack, don't fall, don't fall. Stay up, cool. Um, hopefully this is the Espeon, and hopefully we've got a 10 to make a good set. And we did. So very nice there, we've got Gem Mint 10 set. Um, I'll show you guys at the end of the full set. Stay up, you bugger. Um, another old school Japanese card, we have a bit of edge wear on the corner and the bottom. Um, wow, EX6. So, Hanada City Gym Deck uh, Misty Hollow. Looks like there's a bit of corner damage down here, not sure if you can see that. Which sucks. Uh, another 6, very low grades for some of these, that sucks. Um, that's a bit of fluff. We have no of these, getting bored of seeing them already. We have another Japanese old school card. Uh, this is Matt's Mudkip Gold Star. So this one got a Mint 9. Um, this is, yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, it's got a bit of edge on the back, but it's very nice. So Unlimited Mudkip Mint 9. A little bit of fluff. And we have an old school Japanese. We have Ashes Blastoise Hollow. So not too sure why it's in box. What was that box number three? So Mint Nine. Unfortunately, he didn't get a ten to match his Venusaur, which is a shame. Oh, dropping that one. We have an EX Mint Six. So this is the Pikachu uh, M uh, commemorative random pack. So this is like the movie promos that Ash sent in from the previous video, you can see there's a big bit of corner damage there and down the bottom actually, it's even worse. So that's probably why I got a six. Uh, last card from this box is the spiky eared Pichu. So it's got a near mint seven, um, same series as the Pichu that just featured. Moving us now to the penultimate box. We have quite a few good cards. I think I've got six Charizards to come. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they came back with. I've uh, just got loads of boxes on the floor. All right, pop you there. So, another English card. We have a Mewtwo EX. I'm pretty sure this is the Hollow Hunters card. So, near Mint Mint 8. I'm not sure what they're so far down in the boxes. 
So the order's just completely wrong here. We have a PSA 7 Pichu. So this is one I sent in. This is, well, unfortunately it's a no grade. It's probably a bit of hollow scratching. I don't even see from when I shone the light. So it goes over to the side. Um, another English card. We have a Mint 9 First Edition Meganium Hollow. So that will be a lovely card to keep in the collection. We have a lot of Edgeware there already. And, oh, EX6. I swear that wasn't there earlier. That's really annoying. So EX6 on the first edition Meganium. Very poor, doesn't match the other mint we had. Got a bit of wear there. EX5, what is going on? I'm going to set an EX5 card in. There's a lot of edge around this one. Uh, looks like there's a bit of hollow scratching as well. Very poor. Back to old school Japanese. We have the Hanada City Gym Deck Misty's Tears. So I was. We'll have to check why this is different from the standard Misty's Tears. But we got a mint 9 on that one. Looks a little bit faded. There we go, there's Misty's Tears here. So what is the difference? This one doesn't have a rarity symbol in the bottom, which could be the difference to show which ones are Misty's Tears. This one looks a lot lighter as well. So never come across that one before. So we have a new Mint 8 and a Mint 9 on both of the Misty's Tears we sent in. Uh, we have another English card and we have a Misty. So we have a Mint 9 Misty, that's pretty cool. Very nice card to keep. Oh, get on there. At least our Mint 9 stack is going quite high. We have a Mint 9 in base set 2, so this is very nice. Uh, one of the cards we kept from our childhood, myself and my brother. Very nice to, for it to come back a Mint 9. So this could be base set 2 cards coming up. We have a Wigglytuff, uh, that sucks already, near Mint 7. We can't win them all on those ones. Uh, this one's looking very nice. We've got a bit, a bit of whitening down the bottom. Come on. How's that gem mint turn? So there's a little white mark there. There's a little white mark there. I guess there's a white mark there. So we have a polywraith in gem mint 10. I get so confused on the PSA grades because some of them are gem mint, some of them you think, how did I even get a gem mint? So moving us on, we have a Nido Queen in gem mint 10 as well, so that's very nice. Um, that one looks like it should be gem mint 10, so it's very surprising to hear me say that. Gem mint 10 is going very high, which is nice. Uh, another English card, uh, we have the Nido King in mint 9. So, another one to keep. Um, this will probably be... Oh, we have a mint, uh, new mint, mint 8 in Mewtwo. So, unfortunately, it doesn't meet the 9, 10 criteria. We have a new mint 7. Oh, you can see a lot. I didn't even see that. If I shine it correctly, you see kind of some scratching on the hollow. Which is a shame on that one. The back looked quite nice. And we have another Mint 9 in Hitmonchan. So, very nice on that one. Moving along, we have a Mint 9 Gyarados. So, another one that's very nice for base set 2. And we've got a little bit of edge wear down the bottom there. We have a Near Mint Mint uh, 8 Clefairy. So just missing out on getting in the collection there. Second from last card is the Clefable. So that one got a mint nine. Very nice set. We have, oh, we went down to base set two Charizard. All right, you can see there's a bit of 
scratching on the hollow. That's probably why I got the eight. That's a shame. And we are moving on to our last box. So here's where all the big boys lie. Well, all the big Charizards lie. Quite a lot of gold stars that have come out already. And it's, oh, something flew away there. Some sort of PSA advertising. Right, we are on to another old school Japanese. We have the Charizard promo, reverse holo. And it's a Mint 9, so this is from the premium file we opened uh, quite a few months back now. Um, moving back into English, got a little bit of edge wear down the bottom. We have a near mint, Mint 8 Chansey. So that's from base 2. And we have a near mint, Mint 8 Blastoise holo from base 2. I know I sent in my Venusaur uh, from base 2 to get signed in America. So looking forward to having that one back and thanks of course to Dragon Tamer on Instagram for doing so. We have a Mint 9 Alakazam, looking very nice there. Hoping for some more Gem Mint 10s coming up, um, this one definitely won't be. It's Nimint 7 and this is the No Symbol Error Vioplume. So one that probably won't be in the collection. Um, this one's looking pretty tasty. We have a Gemint 10, lovely. Uh, this is probably one I pulled in the latest uh, jungle booster packs I opened. I think I had this and the Vaporeon. So this is looking very nice. Awesome to have that in Gemint 10. Hopefully the Vaporeon gets the same. There's a little bit of Edgeware here. And this is a Nimit 7 uh, Jungle Venomoth. So nothing going there. We did send in a No Symbol version. And here it is, another Nimit 7. Um, this one probably has some hollow scratches on. Uh, the back looks pretty clean. So 7 on that one. We have, oh, here's the Vaporeon. So a Mint 9, I did notice when I pulled it from the pack there was a little kind of white mark, not sure if you can see those, just in the corner. But we will take a Mint 9 on a card we pulled and of course the Gem Mint 10. Uh, this one looks like it's got a bit of edge around the bottom and it's near Mint 7 Scyther. So unfortunately that one's going. Um, looking pretty good. And Name Mint 8 Jolteon. So another one from the childhood days. Um, Name Mint 8's not too bad. And we're going steadily along. We have a Mint 9 Clefable. So I think this will match our base 2 Clefable we got. So that's pretty cool. There's a little kind of black mark just on the side there. Uh, Mint 9. And we have, oh, an EX6 on our base set first edition Venusaur. Um, edge, yeah, you can see the edge where on the back. And I think I just saw, if I shine in the light, there's kind of a line where you can see the hollow foil shining through. EX6, that's tough. Uh, moving us along, we've got a few left. This will probably be the Charizards, so this one's looking pretty good. We have a Nimint 8 on the base set Charizard. And next one up, looking good again, we have a Mint 9. Can we get a Gem Mint 10? Uh, what's this one looking like? It's looking pretty good again. Uh, Nimint 8. Uh, oh, what's going on here? There's some sort of mark on the back there. What's going on there? It's like someone spilt juice on the Charizard. What the hell? This is not getting a good grade. Got an 8, what the hell? What are these marks? How very odd. Oh, that's going to really annoy me. 
Well, Nim and eight on that one. Moving us along, um, this one doesn't have any marks, but it's got a bit of edge wear on the back. Seven, maybe? Six. Are you having a laugh? Well, that trials I can suck an egg. Um, well, probably an eight again. Yeah, we got an eight. So that was our six Charizards. I think we got, what do we get? Oh, what are you doing over there? So, three eights, a nine, oh, four eights even. Okay. So, I can only do them. Four eights. I'm just going to forget about the six. And we got a nine. So we sent in five. And last but not least, I think this is the Clefairy from base set. It is, yep, yeah, we've got a mint 9 on that one. So lovely kind of way to round that off. And I'll just bring these bad boys forward just so we can have a little recap. So of course we had the Gem Mint 10 Alakazam Gold Star. Looking very nice. We have the Victory Belt. Um, Nido Queen in base set 2 and Polyrafe base set 2. We have this Alolan Pikachu Coldplay special box, whatever you call it. I'll pop that one to the side and wait for Eevee. We have the Latius EX from EX Dragon, the Aerodactyl EX from EX Sandstorm, this awesome Lysander, which is pretty wicked. Uh, we have the strange gold star Celebi, which has that stupid little mark on it, but still gem at 10. We have three of these dudes. And we have the Illusions Zora um, promo, so the Pokemon fan winner. Gem at 10 again. Uh, this dude. We have Giovanni Scheme. We have this awesome Eevee. So we have Eevee, Umbreon, and Espeon. All looking very nice there. So happy to have those in Gem at 10. Um, these little Alolan Pig uh, Pikachu Volpixes. Uh, we have the Mega Champion Pikachu. Alolan Pikachu again. And we have the Team Rocket's Handiwork. And finishing us off, we have the Pokemon Collection Pikachu. So, latest send off was there. We got quite a few tens, uh, quite a few nines, and way too many of this stack, which is seven and below. So, pretty gutted on that one, but hey ho, can't win them all. Um, we will be doing another send off very soon, so I'll be sure to get another video up soon on that one. Thank you very much for sticking around. Well, it's longer than the last video, so always appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.